This video is brought to you by Games Planet. Games Planet provides you with the latest and greatest games at amazing prices. Check the link in the description to learn more. Me, Sea Otter, here to show you Far Cry Primal by Ubisoft. <clears throat> okay, that's enough of that. That was hurting my throat. Anyways, this is Far Cry Primal. Very nice looking game. Um, is what the first thing that comes to mind. Now, I've heard that people are having performance issues with this game. I have not really had any so far, but I'm also only about an hour into the game. Okay, what's hunting me? There's a pig. You know, I think I should kill the pig. No, come back. Come back, I just want your skin. I just want the skin. Where you at? Ah, right, he's dead. Cool. Uh, skin bore, yes please. Because I believe that we need it for an upgrade. Now which one was it? No. Feathers. Boar skin, there we go, for a guts bag. So we are going to see if we can find that other boar and skin that so we can make ourselves a bag of guts. Now I believe that is good for healing yourself. I do hear lots of scary things, however. So let's turn on our hunting vision. Now, hunting vision allows you to see animals and people. There it is. And also allows you to see enemies as well, which is very useful. I was hoping for a headshot there. There we go. All right. So as you can see, we have two different weapons here. We have a bow. And we have a spear. We also have a club. Now you can see there's only three other ones down here, which means that there's not going to be a lot of weapons in this game. So it's not going to be like normal Far Cry where you have all sorts of fancy guns and other stuff. I believe you get like a knife and like a double-handed club. Let's see, let's pick that red leaf. These are good for medicine and stuff. And let's go take a look at the crafting menu. Now, crafting menu in like a... 20,000 BC game is kind of weird to me, but I guess, I don't know, it is what it is. You know, it's, it's strange, but whatever. A deadly throwing shard. All right, so what do we need for that? Oh, we need progression in the story. What else do we need? Feathers. All right, if we can get some more feathers, we can make a better quiver, which will allow us to hold more more uh, arrows here. <clears throat> it looks like we can upgrade this if we can find some north cedar. Or maybe just make more. So we'll look for some cedar as well. And in the meantime, I will show you where we are headed. We are headed to see this guy. This like witch doctor looking guy. That is our task. If you choose to accept it or not. I've been playing this, like I said, for about an hour or so. That's Alderwood. I think... I don't want to anger those guys. So let's just run past them. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun with this game. I'll be honest, it surprised me. I did not think that I would be having really any fun with this game. <clears throat> but it's been uh, surprisingly enjoyable. Now, I will say, from what I've seen, it does suffer from all the other kind of open-world tropes that the other Ubisoft games all seem to have. Oh, let's crouch here. It sounds like there's some baddies. Yep, they're over there. <clears throat> so we're going to steer clear of them. We're going to keep heading towards our objective, which is in that general direction over there. I think we're okay to just kind of sprint this way a little bit here. So this game really surprised me. So when I first heard that they were going to do like a caveman version of Far Cry, I was very skeptical. And the reason why is because I was playing Ark Survival Evolved at the same time that it was announced. And to me, it sounded kind of like, hey, you know what's really popular right now is dinosaur games. We should jump on that bandwagon, you know, while it's still fresh. And so then they made Far Cry Primal. And I came into the game not really expecting much. Um, I had a lot of fun with Far Cry 3. I hadn't played 4. Oh. Like a, bo a boar and a leopard or something over there fighting. Let's stay away from that leopard for now, shall we? We have to somehow scale this mountain. So that is our next task here. 
somehow gets to the top. Which actually, it looks like we want to go this way. Uh, which may be a little bit risky. But we'll see. I hear you. Where are you? I hear you. There you are. It's a wolf. Which is not what we want to be fighting right now. Get out of here. I'm going to poke you in the butt. Butt poke, baby butt poke. There we go. We killed our first wolf. Actually, I've killed a few before. I wish you could use the knife. You only use it for skinning. In fact, a lot of the animations in this game seem to be, uh, I guess, kind of reused from other games. All right. So we have to be careful here. So there's a person and there's a, a pet wolf there. And I don't want to really run into either one. Let's take out the person first. There we go. Awesome. Uh, maybe that's not a pet wolf. Maybe that's a dead wolf. Either way, it looks like we've taken care of all of them. Let's see if we can find a way down there. I want to see what kind of goodies they had in their, in their camp. Oh, that's right. I was talking about kind of how it is to play this game. It suffers from all the same things that other Ubisoft games kind of suffer suffer from where it's nice and open world but there's like the same five quests that you do over and over <clears throat> and the story of this game is you are Takar uh, he's a Ouija warrior which means that he is a, uh, a part of the quote unquote good guy tribe there's two other tribes one's like a cannibalistic tribe and the other one just wants to kill everybody is there anything good here, or am I just wasting my time? Let's see. Looks like I'm just wasting my time. It's very pretty, though. Um, let's let's head. Let's see, we need to head up there, which means we need to head up here. What is... Oh, okay. I thought that was an animal. It was a rock. So let's take some of that. Yes, I put that entire rock in my bag. Um, I am very, very strong. Very strong. All right. Let's, uh, let's just... Start heading up here. We have to be a little bit careful because there are things that go bump in the night that want to kill us. So every once in a while you can use your hunter vision just to see what you got going on. And, you know, it'd be really nice to get another set of feathers. So maybe we'll also try and hunt some birds as well. I'm not quite sure if we have to kill one of like the big eagles to get them or if we can just kill a normal bird or not. So she looks like we have to head over there. Looks like right here is where we want to be. I don't think we can make that jump. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. Is that an animal? No, it's not. Okay, cool. And you can climb up stuff like this and stuff if you want as well. So there's like a, some animals up there that we won't bother. Where do you? You're a boar. I'm going to leave you alone, Mr. Boar. Go enjoy the rest of this day. It's a it's a very nice, mighty fine day to to be out being a boar, I suppose. Maybe this is not the way that we wanted to go. How the heck do we get over there? Oh, we need to get up there. Okay. Oh, I hear an, an, one of the really big birds. The ones that will carry you away. <clears throat> Alright. So we are uh, we are back where we started. This time we're going to go on this side of the river here. Let's see if we can find something. This actually looks promising because there's these cairn stones here. Which tells me kind of go this way. Go this way. Now, there's a lot of other cool stuff you can do. There's a day-night cycle. Uh, we don't have a grappling hook, um, which doesn't really strike me as something that you would have, you know, being this uh, this era. Okay, there's some wolves there. We're going to try and avoid them. Uh, there's some mammoths as well, which will also try and kill us. So let's let's not run into them as well. I think we are where we should be. Let's see, we're trying to get over there. This, I believe, is how we get over there. There's a goat. Hello, Mr. Goat. Oh, it's a whole herd of goats. Oh, that... That is very big. That's a very big moose that we probably want to kill and skin at some time. But for right now, we want to leave him alone. Unfortunately, he's kind of in our way. There we go. Let's sneak past him here. All right, we're on the right track now. The mushrooms. Let's not eat them. We are smarter than that. Or are we? I don't know. Maybe we're really not that smart. You know? 
So either way, you are a Ouija soldier. Holy crap, that was one of the big birds. There it is. <clears throat> I believe that was one of the big ones. And you are looking for your lost brethren. And so you're like freeing them from other people, trying to make a... Uh, trying to make kind of like a, a Ouija society, as you will, and regrow your populace. Oh crap, that's a bear. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Oh dear God, that's a... Hopefully the bear will take them out. Take them out, bear. You're my only hope. All right. Is the bear still after me? No. Okay. Who? All right. That was scary. That was scary. Is there crocodiles in this game? I hope not. You are bad people. Let's leave you alone. Ooh, I'll take that. I don't know what it does, but I will take it. All right. We got to find that witch doctor guy. He's got to be over here somewhere. Two out of a hundred. One more for the next reward. I don't know what it does. Um... So let's let's sneak around and see if we can take out these bad guys here and claim this camp. Which is just kind of one of the seven things that you do during this game. Let's sneak. Now you only hold a very small amount of arrows. So you have to make them make them uh, kind of count. That's disgusting. That's just one thing that you'll find in this game. So, but you can pick them off of um, corpses, as you can see here. We've gotten some arrows and such. And let's get this. Oh, we already have. All right. Okay, I think we found where we're supposed to be. I'm going to keep gathering materials here. We are Takar the Florist. All right. Here we go. I like my spear. Let's head into this cave here. I believe this is where you start to uh, to tame animals. So I'm actually very excited about this because I really want to tame like a wolf or something. So we'll see. We will see. He's obviously high. Now, this is the only bug I've really run into where it's really hard to hear what they're saying over the rest of the sounds, right? And unfortunately, you only get one volume slider, and that's for main volume slider. You don't get one for sounds. You don't get one for, like, footsteps or anything. You only get one main one. Um, but that is also why we have the subtitles in the bottom. So, they're, they're speaking like, I don't know, Swedish or something. I don't know what they're speaking. But, it's, uh, it's not English. It's some made up language or something. I don't, I don't know. This guy is crazy though. Obviously crazy. Drink from the vein of life. You know what? I think I'm okay. That looks, uh, it looks appetizing. But, you know, I, I think, okay, okay, I guess I'll, I'll drink your placenta juice or whatever it is here. Am I a bird? I think I become a bird. He's poisoned us. He's trying to kill us. I regret this decision immediately. I don't know. We'll see. Vision of beasts. All right. Hello. You are very, very uh, colorful, bright, golden animals. Hello. Hello, little bird. Nice of you to join us. And oh, Mr. Moose. Mr. Moose, it's been a little while, but I am glad that you are here as well. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Owl. The owl from, uh, from Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so we have to follow the owl, apparently. It looks like we have inverted controls. Like you're uh, flying a helicopter or something. So down is, is up and up is down. That's a little bit odd. 
Oh, okay. It's a uh, it's a crazy underwater owl. You know those uh, underwater owls that you've been hearing about in the news a lot lately. All right. Do I like fail if I run into stuff? Or are we are we where we need to be now? I don't know. Let's uh, let's see. Oh, there's there's our friend the owl. So, honestly, so far I'm very impressed with the game. It's uh, it's a lot better than I really thought it would have been. I'll be honest. So. It looks really nice as well. I think they did a good job with that. Every once in a while you'll see a weird texture or a weird shaped rock or something. I'm sure we could find some here if we really look hard enough. Other than that, it really hasn't been as buggy as a lot of other Ubisoft games. I'll say like The Division or something has been. A lot of people have been having issues. I have not been having issues. The only issue I've been having is uh, sound issues, um, which I'm... I'm a Hoping is because I'm recording, you know, because that that can be a little bit weird. And I have a lot of audio stuff going on for my recording, so that could be it. That could definitely be it. I had the same uh, the same errors as this with Black Ops Three as well, which was odd. But either way, um, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. I'm kind of excited to see where it takes me. I'm gonna keep playing it. So, and uh, we won't, we'll, we'll play for another 5-10 minutes here. I'll show you some more stuff. Oh, we righted ourselves here. Excellent. There's a, a woolly mammoth there. That's Manny the woolly mammoth. Okay. I don't know why that was directing me up like that, but it was. Oh, okay. He wants us to fly directly into a tornado. Well, that's a great plan. Just an awesome, great plan. Are we dead? Are we Are we dead now? I think we're dead. Oh. What are you? Is this a family of badgers? Were badgers around back, way back when? I don't even know. There's some doles over there. Doles, they're like little... Uh, like fox uh, dogs, kind of. Some wolves here. Hopefully, we'll get to tame one of you soon. Oh, look! It's the it's the tiger that killed all of your family and friends. Okay, uh, and some leopards as well, and a saber tooth. Okay, right on. And a bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. You killed me before, but not today. Not today. Oh, okay. We get a tame. This is the moment we've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. By all my life, I mean, like, the hour I've played this, so. Now, you be my eyes in the sky. Oh, it's, it's a very cute owl. They did a really good job animating that owl, I have to say. It was a really great job with that. All right. You bond with Owl. A dream. No dream. The Owl Spirit names you Beastmaster. Beastmaster? Yes, go Beastmaster. Calm the spirits of the wild. Make them join your fights. Okay, crazy underwear man. I will go. I will tame more things and have them attack things. That is my destiny. Has been foretold in the rock wall. Let's see what you got here. Pack is already full of bones. All right. So now find the white wolf. Only you can calm him. All right. I think I tried to kill him actually. I think I tried to kill a white wolf earlier. I'm just gonna steal all of your shit, okay, Beastmaster? Just, just gonna steal everything. Just steal everything. All right. Press M to see new missions. All right, let's see what we got. A large bonfire claimed for the Wincha. Okay, uh, that's a fast travel point. So it's uh, the bonfires are kind of like the radio towers and stuff of the Ubisoft world, of the uh, Far Cry world here. 
um, help Ouija save captive, help Ouija beast kill, and we can go fight another outpost here, unknown locations for us to discover as well. Find the wolf den and tame the white wolf to uh, fight by your side. All right, do I have to talk to him again to do that? I don't even know. Let's do something else. This one looks close. Let's uh, let's try that one. All right. Now I believe also we have some more skills available. We do. We have two skill points, so we can use these for things. Owl companion. Press Z to summon your owl. Good to know. Good to know. Hunter's vision. Okay. So we have a we have a UAV basically now. What else can we do? Plans to display it on your mini map. Gain one health. Okay, that actually seems very useful. Let's uh, let's do that. Oh, we already have that one. Okay. Hold C to heal while sprinting. Hold C to manually heal one health bar. That seems really useful, actually. Let's learn that one. Uh, oh, those are ones we already have. Okay, what else can we do? Heal while sprinting or plants. Let's do the plants one. We can craft more shit. Alright. Awesome. Awesome, Blossom. Let's go help our Ouija brothers. These guys are back. I think they might have spotted me. Oh. Okay. So they can spot stuff. Slow down, Hunter Vision, send Beast. Oh, there's a bear attacking them. We don't have any bombs. All right, can we get rid of this? Perfect. You know what? Maybe not what we want to do. Let's run this way. I was going to attack it while it was attacking other things. But it's no longer attacking other things. The fire there. We can light our stuff on fire. There's also like cold and stuff in this game. So if you want to survive, you got to do a bunch of that kind of stuff. Which I've never personally had fun with. I've never found that super entertaining. Let's go up the mountain. But some people like it. Some people like the whole survival thing. Where you have to regulate your temperature and your hunger and your thirst and all sorts of stuff. But... I find it kind of tedious, honestly. Maybe in moderation it's good. I think the problem was when Minecraft added it and made it so much harder to play at the beginning that I just stopped liking it. Oh yeah, you can power slide as well. I think that was the only one. I Tigger. Wow, lots of Winnie the Pooh jokes today. <clears throat> Where? Where are they? Okay, they're attacking the Ouija. Okay, apparently I can't do that that far away. There we go. Gotta wait for a good headshot. Good headshot, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Is that a beehive? That is a beehive. Okay, I don't want a beehive. I don't want the beehive. I no longer want the beehive. There we go. Perfect. Headshot. Hold C to heal. I definitely need that. Okay. You eat food to heal as well. Let's, uh... Oh, I hear a bear. Where's the bear? I found the bear. Running from the bear. Oh, shit. Another bear. Oh, shit. It's about to go down. We're so close to our destination, too. Lost camp! 
Is this a Ouija camp? Let's go. Let's go see. Anybody here? Anybody home? There's a, a fire that was just lit. Which means the people should be close. Steal all their stuff. We got meat. Alright, perfect. Alright. This might be one of the camps we have to populate with other people. That could be it. Alright. Let us... What are you? Okay, you're like a goat or something. I don't have to worry about you. Oh, hello, cave painting. Oh, we can use our guy to scout the area. Scout the area for me. Be my eyes and ears. There's a bear. They're all out that way. There's some hunters there. Perfect. Oh, they have a Ouija. Okay. Let's save our Ouija brethren. So we have to kill all three of them before they kill the Ouija is how this one's going to work. Ah, we got speared! Eh. Take some of your own medicine there. What's hurting us now? Is it bees? Oh, more guys! Okay. I need arrows. There we go. Oh, more of these guys. Oh my god, we're absolutely surrounded. Okay, we need we almost died there. That was almost embarrassing. We got our spear back, perfect. What is seeing us? Is it one of those big things again? All right. Oh, uh, this game is so much fun, guys. So much fun. I'm kind of Sad that I uh, kind of discounted it when I first heard it. I was like, yeah, this game's not going to be any good. Oh, is that a bear? That is a bear. Run! Run for the bear! Run for the bear! I've had... Oh, what is this? Oh, it's like a fishing trap. Oh. I was like, what is this in the water? All right. We're going to let these guys pass. They might hunt the bear for us. We're going to head down towards that objective. We're going to finish that objective. And then... We will call that an episode. That is the plan, Stan. That is the plan. Yeah, we have to be very careful. Something ate all of those people. Be very, very sneaky. All right. Beast kill. Doles are stealing meat from local hunters. Hunt them down to reduce their numbers. All right. So we have to kill some doles. Which I believe were just over this little ridge here. That tracking sense. Yep. All right. Oh, hello. Well, hello there. Fancy seeing you here, you know, in the woods. All right. Where are the doles? Where are you, doles? How many do you have to kill? Reach the hunting area. Oh, we have to go over there. I see. I see. I gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. Gotcha. I found the doles. Alright, let's skin that and take our arrows back as well. Got some meat, perfect. 
Ah, oh, you're following me. Excellent. She must like how I look slash smell. All right. Oh, yeah. What do I do here? That. That's what I do. Oh, thank you. Oh, we got a rare black one. All right. These guys are actually very easy to kill. All right, we need to kill four more of them. And it's becoming nighttime, so we have to be careful as well. The Oogie Boogies are going to get us. All right, let's go find our last four doles. Where are you at, you little doles? I found one. All right, three more. That one? I think that's a dead one. Oh no. Nighttime. No bueno. Let's uh, finish this quest up soon, okay? Gotta finish this up quickly. Is that one up there? Or is that another rock? It's a rock. All right, three more doles. Where are you hiding? Oh, there's blood up here. Where are you at? There we go. We killed 11 of them. That's what we needed to do. Perfect. All right, let's see what's in this little cavey cave here. Overall, guys, I've actually been very impressed with this game, if you can't tell. I'm having just an absolute ton of fun with it. I definitely recommend it if you like open world, kind of like adventure games like this one. If you want to pick it up for yourselves, then I will leave everything that you need down below. Um... And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Oh, we are so boned.